Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. My name is still PK and I make WordPress tutorials for designers and developers. Uh, today we're going to learn how to build a, over here, yeah, how to build a WooCommerce shop using Breakdance. Now Breakdance is a new page builder, a site builder um, on the market that I think is really cool. I'll get more into why I think it is better than the other competing page builders in a minute. Uh, but for now, we're just going to talk about where we are right now and what this course is going to be about. Okay, so full disclosure, I actually made a lot of stuff for this uh, course already. Like, wait, let me just show you. Like, you can see I have seven videos up already on YouTube. They're all scheduled, but I'm, I'm going to delete them all. I'm going to start over because during the whole uh, recording process, I found that I talk a lot about some basic features, some extra features, some great features about breakdance that will probably apply to all the builds and all the courses that I put out in the future. So I thought, all right, let me make it easier for people who already have breakdance or already understand breakdance um, to just dive in and start building along with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to pause to clear my throat. Okay, this is me cleared with my throat cleared. I apparently speak like this. This is how I sound always. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, um, I'm going to probably make a separate version of that in order to get all the breakdance settings and go through all the great features that I found um, and how I would build it. But yeah, I think that can go in, can be used for like in general for all the future courses. So I decided to take all that stuff out and just focus on this one. But because this is the first episode, what I'm going to be doing, um, and by the way, all the episodes, episodes, all the lessons are going to be uploaded two at a time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And <clears throat> that's why I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about breakdance in general in this uh, lesson and also um, setting it up and we'll get into building things directly in probably this, the end of this one and the next one. Okay. So another thing that I've also found is <clears throat> that I'm going to set myself a timer. All right. So from now on, every time after I do my introductions, um, I'm going to set the timer to 13 minutes, 13 seconds. And I've, since I've been recording, uh, the, the alarm just really startles me. So that's going to happen in 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, why 13? Because it's less than 15 and it is a nice prime number. <laughs> I don't use even uh, digital numbers like 10. You know, I don't like those numbers. I like analog numbers. Um, also, one last thing. Uh, if you already have Breakdance, that's great. If you don't, please consider purchasing uh, through my affiliate link down below. Please do that to help support the channel, help support me making more of this kind of content and courses. All right, so let's get started and I'll talk about the advantages of Breakdance and what this uh, course is going to be about. Starting now. All right, so with uh, Breakdance, this uh, course, well, Breakdance is really different from the other page builders that you might have seen before. Uh, it has some really good features that I like. I'll just uh, list them really quick. I'll go into more depth uh, in a different video, but it has the cleanest code output that I've seen, bar none, maybe except for its current modern competitors, which will, which will probably be Oxygen and Bricks. Besides those, Breakdance has the cleanest one. If I were to code it by hand myself, this is what I would probably come up with pretty much. Uh, I mean, like the front end. I, I can't do the back end like like the SoFly team can, but the front end. Um, and uh, considering that it is um, built to target the Divi and Elementor crowd, probably also like Beaver and all that kind of other builders, but more so the larger ones, which would be Elementor and Divi. Uh, considering that it's targeted, it's built to target those crowds. It is surprisingly developer friendly, which is why it has a really wide range of, of options and features for every level. Okay. Now I am comfortable coding things myself. 
like um, PHP, JavaScript, and CSS, SAS for, in my case. Um, and I'm comfortable doing things by hand, but um, knowing that this tutorial, this course will be also targeting the breakdance audience, uh, intended audience, I will probably be focusing a little bit more on the visual builder part and what the visual builder can do and, and the settings that you can use um, as opposed to just whenever, whenever, whenever I see anything, I'm just going to be like, oh, just code it. You know, I'm not going to be, I'm trying, I'm going to try not to do that as much as possible. Um, also, a really cool thing about Breakdance is that it has something called an element builder. It is very, very cool. Um, the Breakdance YouTube channel has a great explanation on that and a walkthrough, but I'm going to try to do stuff myself. So stay tuned to the channel, like, and subscribe to this channel, and you'll probably see those videos pop up sometime soon. Um, and also it has a user design library that you can actually assign your own website to become a design library. So you can load that on a new website and just bring the templates over, which means you can build whatever to whatever specification that you need here. And you can use that as a template for future builds. A lot of people, and this is even at every agency that I've worked at, We've always tried it. It didn't always work because of um, time and resources and the understanding of management and all that kind of stuff. There's always been problems, but everybody who makes lots of websites, who offers websites as a service, have wanted to and have found a way to offer templates or have their own templates. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, sometimes people uh, uh, give up and go on to other builders like Wix or Webflow. I don't know why, but <laughs> if, you, if you don't know how to code or do anything, then you end up there. Um, but anyways, and some people just use Elementor and then they just uh, duplicate a website and then just modify that. They try to come up with ways of uh, coming up with a design style or template of that studio and try to modify as little as possible to to be more efficient in delivering the websites on time. Uh, Breakdance actually has your own, you can build your own development website, have that URL, drop it into the new website, and then just load the design library directly there and then you can just change the content there. So this is revolutionary. It's like um, Divi Cloud has something similar, but yeah, this is just revolutionary for me. Um, and also <clears throat> the Element Builder is, I think I, did I mention that? Element Builder is just just out of this world. Anyways, uh, I'm just, yeah, so excited. It's, a, it's in alpha or beta, is it? But yeah, it's not finished 100% yet, but you know, it's already just so cool. I'm just, yeah. Anyways, um, and another thing that is very important that other builders are not as focused on as Breakdance is would be WooCommerce, which is why this course will start with WooCommerce. Okay. So, um, like I said, if you need to get Breakdance, visit the uh, affiliate link down below and that'll help the channel out. And also before, while I have you, uh, please consider joining our discord. We, it's a safe space space for all the digital designers and developers out there. Um, so should be fun. Okay. Now here's breakdance. Like I said, use my referral link, <laughs> use my referral link and, uh, there it is. All right. So this is my, uh, download panel. As you can see, it's just been finalized and, uh, I was using that one. And it turns out that one is a new one. So that one got, got me a notification saying to use that one. So I got that one there. But like I said, I've been recording a lot of stuff already. And like I said, I've decided to start over. Okay, so I actually deleted everything in that folder. I just nuked everything. I'm gonna start all the way from the start, just leaving out going through all the options and I'm going to start building directly. Okay. Uh, the options walking through all the options are going to be in a different video and I will refer that in the future whenever I make new courses, because that will walk you through the whole back end. Okay. All right. So, 
Um, I'm going to assume that I have the. Well, you can assume that I have this because I just downloaded it. I'm going to assume that you have this because you bought it with um, either yourself before this video or um, through my affiliate link. All right, cool. Now, uh, Lead Gothic is here because that is going going to be the headings that I'm using in this design. I always like condensed caps, so it'll be uh, Lead Gothic in uh, all caps. So text transform all caps, uh, uppercase. And it is a simple WooCommerce website. It is titled uh, Dance Break because once you're doing whatever, you need a dance break, like a breakdown. I don't know. Uh, I don't dance. <laughs> I listen to uh, non-dance music mostly, unless you're listening to uh, Eskimo Cowboy. Anyways, uh, if you know what that is, that's a, that's a great band. It's a great band. Uh, so yeah, Electric Callboy also, same name I think. I don't know how that works. So this is the design that we're gonna be building. Um, it is just a very, very basic design because I need to show, I wanna show um, how to get things set up and have it working just so it's a lot easier for everybody um, who wanna learn to just start diving in. Uh, let's see, the About Us page is also very important. Any Google Analytics that I've seen from a company, About Us page is usually the second most popular, so we'll just have that. And it has people here. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, these little um, pink blocks are sizing blocks for me. I use them a lot in my design normally, uh, regularly. My website, almostinevitable.com, you can see um, that I, well, I have a sale running, but you can see I have a course. You can use that coupon and you can get this for free right now. Uh, but yeah, I walk you through XD and I have a lot of cool uh, tips and tricks on using it. And this is one of them using um, a sizing block. So all you need to do is just hide it. Oh, not that one, that one's useless, um, but that one. All you need to do is just hide it and take out the fill and you don't see it anymore, right? So, yeah. So anyways, this is what we're gonna be building again, like, um, cause it's a dance studio, I don't know, or a shop, I don't know. I have cars here and I have break dancers. <laughs> it's just, these are all stock photos anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, and we have the, the blog again, I might add the category, I might add the category here, um, but I'm prob. oh, I should change that text, the heading text. Yeah, but um, I might add the category while I'm doing that, while I'm changing the heading text there, uh, because I don't think authors are important unless you have multiple authors. I don't think authors are that important for news websites and stuff, they are, but yeah, but not, not for like a single site with probably a single author you know, or, or at least a single entity as an author. So you don't need that, but you might need categories because people might sort of, it might help them get more context into what the content content is. Uh, sign up sheet here, and this would be the shop. It'll just be a grid. Uh, of course, we can use, you know, more conventional grids and more conventional buttons, but maybe this is enough to show that it's easy to customize. Um, and Another thing is that, uh, oh yeah, if it's right now, these products have an image that is, that has the, the content of the image all the way to the edges. So having a dark overlay looks okay. But if you're using an image that is just a product on a white background, so it's actually white, the, the white blends in with the background that is white. This I don't think the background is totally white here. It's not, but if, if it is, if you're using a website like that, then use a white overlay so it drops down the opacity or sort of, um, I don't know, makes the, the product less clear until you hover over it and then it becomes clear because the white overlay goes away. Something like that. We'll see if we can do that. 
all right? And, or if, even if we do, we, we can, but we'll use, we'll try to use minimal um, code for that. Uh, and once that's done, so yeah, so like I said, you can use a dark overlay or, or a bright overlay, a white overlay, up to, up to you, depending on the product photos. Uh, and we're gonna go with something that, <clears throat> sorry, something that is very uh, simple. Uh, it's not necessarily gonna be like reinventing the wheel, um, but I will walk you through, I'll, I will show you all the customization that is easily done uh, using the Breakdance uh, product builder and everything, okay? Cool, all right, so um, I have one minute left. All right, now, all this, all this stuff, including the finalized XD, because I'm gonna have to add that category there, including the finalized XD will be on my website, okay? Now, if you go to my website, this is not up yet. <clears throat> now, I'm, re I'm actually recording this video about 11 hours before um, everything has been scheduled to go live, all right? It's been scheduled to go live. Um, I'm, I'm just recording this right before so I'm gonna delete all this, unfortunately. Sad, but uh, yeah. So anyways, when this playlist and when those videos go live, the first two in this case goes live, you'll see you'll see over there that um, a post will go up and you'll have the playlist in that post as well. And on that post, I'll keep adding uh, um, more content as they as it comes out, okay? so. Um, there we go. I think, I think I got this finished within, I got two seconds left. Yep. All right. So, um, in the next video, I think, <clears throat> I think that's enough of an introduction. In the next video, we're going to talk about setting it up on local and we'll start loading everything in there. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you there. Bye.